everyone, this video is part of my free fitness and nutrition program you can download at thesimplefitprogram.com. This video is on my biceps, back, and abs routine. So I start off each and every workout with 10 minutes of high intensity interval training cardio. So I start off by doing a light jog and then I significantly increase the speed for 45 seconds to one minute and then I lower it down after that to the jogging speed. So I do this a total of three times and that gives me a light sweat as you can see here. So next I move on to my dumbbell warm up routine. I start by doing some front raises, some lateral raises and then I do some uh, rear raises and this allows me to warm up my shoulders and prevents me from injuring them. I do this on both arms and then I end it by opening up my rotator cuffs like I'm doing now. And I just simply do that again onto the other side, onto the, my other arm. So next I move on to doing my dumbbell deadlifts. For this exercise you really want to focus on bending your knees a little bit, not too much, and pushing through your heels so you feel it on your lower back. You start off by doing lightweight and eventually going up to your working weight. Here's a different angle, so as you can see I don't go all the way down, I'm just a little bit past my knees, and then I come up pushing through my heels which targets my lower back. Next we're moving on to the dumbbell bent over row. So in this you really want to focus on holding the dumbbell really hard, really firm grip and pulling towards your chest. And on top of that the most important thing is to make sure you contract the muscle as you go up. So what I'm really focused on doing is as I'm pulling it up I'm trying to squeeze my back muscle at the very very top. Here are different views and obviously you want to be rotating each arm um, the same amount of reps. So I switch over to my right arm from my left and then I focus on pulling it towards my upper chest slash side and contracting my back. So the next exercise that we're moving on to is the rear delt fly. Let's focus on your rear delt which is part of your shoulder but it also works on your upper back so with this you really want to focus on squeezing the back kind of like pinching the back scapula together um, like so lower weight as well and firm grip on the dumbbells like the last one next we move on to the dumbbell wide row so with this you can either do it standing like I am bent over like this or you'd be sitting like like I'm doing right here um, with this exercise you really want to focus on contracting the back muscles again as you do each and every single rep and then at the end of each set I usually like to have a little pause rep where I just squeeze and hold it at the back for two or three seconds like so Next we're going to do some dumbbell curls, work on them biceps. So typically I try and anchor my elbow joint so that it doesn't really move. Um, so as you can see here I'm focusing on contracting with each and every single rep. And on top of that I'm not letting my arm dangle at the very end. I'm having it almost constantly contracted each and every single rep. Next we move on to my favorite dumbbell exercise which is the dumbbell side curls. So with this you always are gripping it, gripping the dumbbell really hard and you're pulling up towards your chest from the side and this focuses on your bicep peak as they say. Next we're going to do the hammer curls and with the hammer curls you want to hold it at the top of the dumbbell like so and focus on contracting with each and every single rep. And then lastly, we end the workout off with a 
ab routine with this one I use the ab roller and I do 12 reps so my knees are on the ground and my legs are lifted and I go all the way down just before I touch the ground and come up again this works all of your abs muscles but focus on your upper abs here's a different angle focus on contracting your abs as you go up as well next I go straight into oblique twists with a dumbbell so I have my butt on the ground my legs lifted and then I just twist the dumbbell from side to side like so this focuses on your obliques and I usually try and do it for 30 to 45 seconds it burns like heck So I go straight into leg lifts next and I focus on contracting my abs and holding my core really tight. This exercise focuses on your lower abs. So lastly I bring the lower abs to complete fatigue by doing some scissor kicks until I can no longer possibly kick no more. And so that's the end of my workout guys. Hopefully you liked it. You can find and download my ebook at thesimplefitprogram.com. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing and we'll see you on to the next one. Thanks guys.